Well, hello there everyone, David, your friendly Harry Scotsman here once again. Well, I'm going to do something a bit different today. I'm going to start doing something um, like cheap meals that you can cook yourself. Um, it's ideal for students or with the way that the world's going at the moment, the price of things are just going absolutely silly. So, I'm going to try and keep these down to under a pound a portion. We'll see if I can do that. So, today I'm going to be doing spaghetti with lemon and pea pesto. I've got my wee recipe over at the side there, so I might just take wee glances at that. So, I've got 500 grams of spaghetti, but I'm only going to need a quarter of that, 125 grams. Now this cost me 28 pence. So that's what, 7p worth of spaghetti. Got a lemon, I think that was, I think it was 4 for 50p, so that's what, 12.5p each, so about 6 pence worth of lemon juice. I've got some Gran Padano Parmesan cheese, um, I'll probably be using about 10 pence worth of that. I've got a bag of peas. Now they're in one of these Ziploc bags because the other bag that they were in fell apart. I've got some salt, some water and I've got a little drop of olive oil left over there. Probably a couple of pence worth of olive oil. So, I'll bring these down a wee bit, let you see what I'm doing. <coughs> um, this is where the tripod falls apart or something like that, not my luck. Uh, Turn it slightly just to make it a bit safer. It's a bit wobbly, but we'll get the gist of it anyway. So, we'll zoom in a wee bit. So, I've got a wee drop of water in there. And uh, where is it? Got some salt, got a wee spoonful of that, put some salt in the water. And you're supposed to really quite heavily salt water when you're doing pasta, so there's a good wee glug of salt in there. Which will go over onto the, the cooker. I'll start that boiling up a wee bit. Now I've already boiled the kettle here for speed. So we'll pour some of that water in. Right, so I poured the water into the spaghetti into the pan there. We'll bring it up to a wee rolling boil. Um, Right, let's get a block there, we'll get the block there, we'll open up the parmesan, or the Grand Padano stuff, got my wee file here, and now it says a small handful. big hands. We need a lot more than that. It's a really hard cheese this. We want to be able to taste it, don't we? Then level it off this way. Right, that'll do just now. We can always upgrade a bit more later on, so that's fine like that. Now, that's slowly coming to a boil. Chop the top off the spaghetti, like so. Now, quarter of a pack. So there's about half. There's about the other half. Let's just pull this out. About a bit quarter. Well, it's not far off, we'll get a bit more. I'm quite peckish this morning. So, 
that's that. What I'm going to do, I'll make a bit of space here. And I'll bring this over here in a sec. So you can see that's actually starting to do something. I'll put it that way a wee bit. Maybe up a wee touch. Alright, that's starting to go nicely. And that should all start to push in nicely. Look at the prodder. There we go. Let's just try and get it all underwater. Like that. that won't stick in there. And there we go. Right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a wee colander in there. We strain our thing. A handful of these. It says to frost them under the tap but when you've got the hot water here anyway, you might as well just pop some in here. Uh, there we go, that'll be with the peas just now. Seal that back up, get that back round the back out of the way. <coughs> Give these a wee stir around, just get them all nice and soft. Now that's just cooled the water a wee bit there. <coughs> As you can see they're almost done. They're all floating nicely, the water's coming back up to a boil. Which is pretty good. So this is where I talk to myself a wee bit as well. So you're watching them coming up nicely. Um, coming together quite nice. So I'm going to move these back a wee bit. So you can see what else I'm going to do while that's happening. And the light's going really funny again. It'll come back in a second or two hopefully. There we go, it's coming back. Now I've got my mortar and pestle there. I'll zoom in a wee touch for you so you can see better. There we go. So, pop that out of there. Lifting the peas out. Now, it says do this in a blender. But unfortunately, at the moment, I don't have a small blender. Eh, that'll do. Pop them back in there. Now, let's crush these up. It says blend them, but we'll do it a bit rougher, a bit more rustic. Because not everyone has a blender. Admittedly, not everyone has a um, pestle and mortar. But what you can do, you can stick them in a bowl, just get a fork or a spoon, the back of a spoon or something, and just crush them up a bit. That's coming together quite nicely, they're all popping away in there. Just knock that off there like that a wee bit. We drop salt. We drop 
paper. For some reason there's nowhere to go. There we go. Give me a splash of paper. And a log of olive oil. Like that. Give that a wee mix up. It's coming together nicely. And some of the parmesan. Big glug in there. Give that a wee stir. I could actually do a bigger vessel here. Or is it the mortar? I think it's the mortar, isn't it? cheese give a wee bit back that's looking good now I'll grab a little knife Oops. push that down there a bit and as you can see I've rolled the lemon already get half of the lemon take that seed out and we'll squeeze the lemon juice in here boy that's a juicy lemon one hyper juicy lemon. Is that to wipe it off? Let's take a spoon in there, just give it a wee quicker shiggle in there just to get some more out. Like this. That's pretty good there. A lot of lemon juice in there. Kind of pesty, pestoy. A few wee peas in there that are a bit, haven't quite burst, that look quite rugged. So that can sit there just now. These peas are fully cooked. So they can sit over here just now. I have a plate which is coming in at the side here now, we'll make a bit more space here. Ow! That is hot. Right. Tiny how you got in there, that's that. Give this pasta another wee stir, that's looking like it's almost ready actually. Right, the pasta looks done. Tongs, but I have no idea what I've done, what I'll be able to do. I've got wee plastic tongs, they'll work just as well. So, bring the spaghetti out. As I said, I'm quite peckish today anyway, so. You can do as much pasta as you want. I mean, in some places this would be enough for two. Like 
that, that's there. Then we get this and we pour it in. This looks pretty good. Then we put a little drop of pasta water in here. Just to loosen that up a wee touch. Like that. And then we stir it through, like this. Now if you did it with a blender it would probably loosen it even more. Just think of maybe put a wee drop too much past the water in there. Plenty of flavour in there, dribble it over the top. Get the rest of the peas, like so, over there. Grab some of the cheese that's left over, give it a wee, a wee dust like that. In fact, we'll give it a wee touch more. Excuse the phone going there, it's, as you know, it's all these messages coming through from me. I don't know how to turn the bleeper off, but... There we go. Let me sprinkle the uh, black pepper over it. There we go. Like that. And... This is my spaghetti with lemon and pea pesto. Go back out wide. Bring the camera up to me a wee bit. It's all over the place, this tripod. Driving me around the bend. Right. So, here we go. My lemon and pea pasta with parmesan. Um, let's give it a try, see what it tastes like. Let's try and get some of the from the bottom a wee bit, get some more stuff on it. Try and grab a bit. Let's have a wee taste, get some peas on there. Mmm. For someone that's probably taken about 10 minutes, that is absolutely amazing. You can taste the olive oil on it. The peas, the lemon. The peas are just bursting with flavour there. They're lovely and sweet. Um, mm. That is so good. Wow. Now that works out probably what seven uh, 
I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll work it all out, roughly for the price, and I'll pop it in the message a bit below. And you can have a look how to do it. I'll put the recipe in there as well. Oh, that was lovely. I'm going to go and finish this just now. If you'd like to see more of these little uh, meals, I'd love it if you hit the like button. If you haven't already subscribed and hit the bell, that should let you know when I'm putting more of these up. Um, take care of yourselves, everyone. I hope you're all keeping well. And hopefully I'll be talking to you all again very, very soon. See ya.